Welcome to my life as I live it. I'm Army Princess, the mother, wife, and soldier, and I want to share this journey with you. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe now so you don't miss a moment of it. Hey everybody, it's Army Princess here and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to recreate this requested look for you. This is just my everyday quick makeup look. So if you want to see how I got this look, then definitely make sure you keep on watching. So the first step in doing my face is to start with my brows. I used the CoverGirl eyebrow pencil and I didn't slow this up because I wanted to show you all in real time how I apply the pencil to do my eyebrow. So I start in the beginning of the eyebrow, very short, light strokes, and then I just kind of fill it in and I'm kind of going with the natural arch in my eyebrow. The key to this is the pencil, I feel like. I really, really like this pencil. It's a good cheap pencil. And then to use nice short strokes, don't rush the eyebrow. You have to be very gentle with the eyebrow. Okay, so after I fill in the eyebrow with the pencil, I use my concealer and this is Black Opal Concealer, the same one I always use. And I just kind of line the eyebrow, clean it up, give it a nice neat edge. After eyebrows, this is my foundation, Giorgio Armani. I am in love with this full coverage foundation. It is a bit pricey. I found it in Ulta, not Ulta, Sephora, but I, I love it. It is worth the money. I use this to clean up the top of my brow because as you can see, the concealer underneath is lighter and I don't want the halo look. So I use my foundation because it's the same color as my skin to clean up the top of the brow. So my next step is to move on to the Easy Breezy uh, eyeshadow application and I just went over my eyelids with concealer just to mute out the eyelid color and now I am going to set it with my pressed powder and I use this just to form a nice nude base so I can go in with my MAC eyeshadow and that's the MAC eyeshadow in brown script. I use this as my transition color in pretty much every single eye look that I do and that is the MAC brush. So this is another step that I did not want to speed up. I really want you all to see how I apply my eyeshadow. I'm using windshield wiper motions back and forth with this brush, but I'm concent concentrating most of the pigment in the outer corner, and this is how you get that kind of like smoky eye look. So I showed you how I hold the brush. I'm not holding it too close. I'm holding it in the middle, very light-handed, and I'm just using windshield wiper motions back and forth, um, concentrate, concentrating most of the color in the outer corner on both eyes. And now we are moving on to the face. This is my LA Girl Pro Prep Primer. I really like this because it's inexpensive. I got it from the beauty supply store and I compare it to Smashbox. It has the same consistency. I really, really like it to fill in my pores before I use my foundation. And I'm using the Giorgio Armani, of course, and I'm just applying that all over with a Real Techniques brush. So this concealer is new for me. This is the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer in the color Caramel. I'm still getting used to it, but I, I kind of like it. I am just going in and highlighting the highlight areas, whoopsies. Clean that out there. And this is just to give my under eye appearance a lifted look and to bring light to the parts of my face that I want to highlight.
So now after we set the face with the MAC setting powder, I'm going in with my Black Radiance Contour Palette in medium dark. And I'm just going to contour my cheekbones and my forehead. That's pretty much it. Um, I get this palette from Walmart. It's really cheap. Most of my products are pretty cheap and inexpensive. So there you go. Moving on to my wing liner, I've done one eye and just for camera purposes, I wanted to keep this in real time and not speed it up. I'm using the e.l.f. liquid liner. I love liquid liner. I do not like pencil liner. I just feel like liquid liner gives you that nice, crisp, clean, sleek look. And at this point, I'm pretty much a pro with my liner. If you all want to see a video on how to apply liner and lashes, let me know. I'll definitely do one. But this is part of my everyday look. I have to have a liner. And this is my favorite part of my makeup routine is applying the highlighter, the glitters. I love me some cheek highlighter. I do it pretty much almost every single day or every time I wear makeup at least. I have to have highlighter. So here we go. And I got this highlighter from Walmart as well. I think this is the Wet n Wild palette. So this is definitely an awesome, cheap, affordable highlighter. Please go out and get this from Walmart. Hey guys, so I hope you like the final look. This is the final look. It was very simple, very easy. This is my everyday quick makeup look routine. I use like eight products total, including like eyeliner and stuff like that. Um, I did add a lip, so I like this little nude brown lip that I got. It's actually from Minted. So I've been seeing this all over my Instagram and I've been looking for lip colors that I can wear to work in uniform. So this is my new baby. It's called Dark Night and I am definitely going to do a video. Probably going to start a, um, thinking about starting a tag video for lipsticks in uniform. So definitely stay tuned for that and stay tuned for who I tag in the video. But this is it. This is the final look. It was really, really simple, really fast. This is literally my everyday look when I want to just do my makeup really quick to run out. And I don't want to do like the whole eyeshadow thing. I use my one MAC uh, shadow in my crease and that is it so I hope you guys like this look I know somebody requested it so I hope you like it bye